Yes guys, what's going on? Coach Ind here. Welcome back to the TIFC YouTube channel. We're on episode 3 guys. We're absolutely flying them out at the moment. By Tekka's Friday, should I say. Today's an absolute crack of warrior. Today's all about passing. And for me, I love, the, I love the feeling of a pass. Just the way it sort of comes off your foot and the way it lands to the desired location as well. It's just delicious. Uh, we're going to get into some different types of techniques in terms of passing. Hopefully going to be using both our feet as well. It's vitally important to do that and the modern footballer can do that also. Before we jump into the video itself, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. It does help my channel grow that a little bit further. And drop it a like as well guys. Honestly, it does help the video reach more people. Roll the VT. So, to start off the practice, we're just going to start with a short pass, almost a 10 to 15 yard pass. Give me aim inside the grid behind us, just here where my server is. So, 4x4 four four grid, so we're working on my accuracy to make sure the pass is obviously within the distance of the player can react and receive the ball. We're going to work on about 6 to 8, 10 reps, something like that, then we'll move on the practice. <laughs> Okay guys, as you can see, I've built my way into the practice, I've got my confidence up with some side foot passes and now I've just um, decided to use a different type of technique to lace techniques or a nice little drive across the deck and this might be used in a game where you might be pressured by an opponent so you're having to release the ball quickly or you're trying to maybe just fizz it through a little gap to get to your desired location. But yeah, if you look at the slow-mo again, just as it's building up here, nice first touch, bang, little jab technique, cross the deck, lovely. So as you've seen, I've used a couple of different types of technique. Side fit was the sort of main part of it, but I also introduced my sort of low-driven pass where you're using your lace. Going to move on to part two now. The only difference is the grid that I'm passing into has just narrowed up slightly. So it's now 3x3. Three three. So we'll really make sure our accuracy is on point here. Probably start off with some side foot passes. Again, just trying to find my range. And then maybe even start using my left foot. And then start using some lace techniques as well. Let's dive into it. <laughs>
ladies and gents, get on that touch. Oh, delicious. One more time. Delicious. A lovely and Herrera touch. Get on that. Okay, moving on to our final part of today's Techers Friday. Now, just increasing the distance by a reasonable amount. Now into a mid-range path, so anywhere between 30 and 40 yards. Now, for me, the crucial part of this type of pass is the weight of pass and the trajectory of pass. So, Paul Scholes was a master of hitting a diag. If his passes, say, to the right winger wasn't at decent uh, speed or trajectory, the ball's just get intercepted from the fullback. So, you'll see in the clips going forward, I'll try and have make sure I have a decent speed on the ball, um, different trajectories as well, try and introduce some passes across the deck, um, but more driven passes, and also try to introduce using my left foot, because I think that's really, really important as the modern footballer needs to be able to use both feet and midfield the ball on both sides. There you have it guys, that's another Techers Friday in the bag. Today was all about passing. I hope you guys learned something in terms of technique, trajectories, use of both feet, etc. If you like this type of videos, please do consider clicking that notification bell and subscribe to the channel. I've been Coach Indy and we'll see you next time.